I wanted to talk briefly about being in the flow of life and what that looks like. We're so conditioned and in the mind and in analysing and having to think things through. Now, if you bring that to another stage, we often have to, we want to have a five-year plan or we want to know, oh, you, this is what I'm working towards, this is what I'm going to do. Now, for me, as I do this work or as I teach shadow work to people, I teach to be present. Really, I'm suggesting don't make any rash decisions. Don't leave your wife or your husband. Don't leave your job. Don't make any plans. Don't go back to college. Don't do anything. You're in transition. Let's work with what's presented. There's no rush. Your ego is in a rush because your ego wants to be there now. It wants to know who you are now. It wants to have a plan. Six weeks, I'm doing this course and I'm going here and I'm going to marry this person. I'm going to say my affirmations every morning. I don't say any affirmations, by the way. I don't really have any interest in them. I don't try to change anything. I don't try to make my life as I want it to be. It is perfect. In the flow of life, I'm sat in a park, in the Phoenix Park in Dublin, and it's a sunny day and there's a breeze blowing and there's groups of deer around me and birds and the odd walker. And I'm just present, sat on the grass, in the flow. I'm not trying to make anything be something. And even when I go go home of where I'm staying for a few weeks, I'm not trying to make my life something that is more acceptable to my ego. It's the mind that thinks we have things to do, that wants to do things. And I know, I have absolutely no doubt that with most people who are listening to this, when they hear this, they're terrified. There's waves of confusion and fear or anxiety because we. I need to be planning. I need to. Ha- I need to think. How am I going to heal the world? I need to. How am I going to help people? What's the next course that I'm going to do? The next retreat. I don't really think about any of those things. Genuinely. I'm present. In my presence, I feel moved to come to the park. I feel moved to make dinner. I feel moved to contact someone and say, do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to have a cup of coffee? I feel moved to watch a movie. I feel moved to do these things. Now, in an overall arc of the work that I do, I was told, you know, in a number of medicine ceremonies, and I've known for quite some time, the part of my role or my work here is to communicate, is to just share my experience, the lighthouse. I shine my light so other people can find their way away from the rocks. I'm not a guide. I don't tell them how to get away from the rocks. I don't tell people how to live their lives. I just share my experience and it may be beneficial to some people. That's what I do. Now, I do feel that I'm being moved to take this to a larger scale. Now, (laughs) when you get 50 views per video (laughs) on YouTube, It might not be difficult to go to a larger scale. 51 people is a step up. But I had to arrive at a place of that I'm still working towards, but I'm really much more at peace. That if I get three views, I'm okay. I don't really pay attention to that anymore. I don't pay attention to subscribers or followers or likes. Less and less and less. Because my self-esteem is not invested in that. I am enough as I am. If, I have, if nobody clicks on this video, I'm enough. This is my journey and I'm still making peace with me. I'm present on the grass in the Phoenix Park under the sun. And I'll continue to do that for the rest of the day. I'll be present with how I feel and with what's passing through me. I've known that I will take this work to a different scale or you know, to maybe seminars or workshops or to speaking in front of people, which I would find quite frightening, you know, public speaking. So that's the direction that I'm going. But I don't have any five-year plan or six-month plan. At times, for example, I met a woman recently, a friend of a friend, who were doing a bit of energy work, a bit of this work, shadow work together. And I was moved and guided that she is the term that came to me a gatherer she connects people and maybe she can connect people to me or present a small audience or two or three people or five people that I could speak to maybe and maybe not so I'm not attached to that I don't need her to do this (laughs) I'm not sending her emails every week saying did you organize this because I have a plan and I know by October or November December we need to be 
you know, we got to sell tickets. We have to have an audience of people. There's none of that. Move to say to her. I might never be moved to say to her again. And she might not be moved to, to present any people that I can speak to. That's cool. I just do what I'm moved to do. And I move in that direction. But the aim is ultimately to have my foundation that I'm at peace with me. And I'm clearing whatever is presented to me. And I know that whatever is purposeful, the path that I'm on will be presented. Those doors, as I spoke in another video, the doors will be presented. It's then my responsibility to walk through the door or to panic and think, I'm not able for this. I'm afraid of this. It's going to be too challenging. I can't do it. And back out. Or to go, yeah, this will frighten the shit out of me, but I know I'm supposed to be here. Now, we may be moved to read a book or to listen to someone or to attend an event. But it's that discernment and connection to yourself, to your own spirit and your own gut, that presence that will indicate to you, am I looking to be fixed? Is this spiritual bypassing and I, am I looking for some exciting weekend where I hear some amazing spiritual speaker and I feel really good and then I go home and I do fucking nothing you know and I watch X Factor or whatever and I put my feet up and I eat the tub of ice cream to be able to discern and it's tricky and it takes practice to know what is the gut feeling here if this is purposeful if this is just escapism or if this is all just fuel for the mind more information this is a guy who's going to talk for seven hours he's going to give loads of techniques and information i'm going to come away with all this information he said this because when we connect to this this happens and that happens less and less i don't do any of these things all i do is witness whatever emotion is passing through me i'm present in the moment and i moved to maybe record this message or write an article or put a post on Instagram or go to work or phone someone or leave a voice message or a client appears. I'm just present. That's what I do. But you wouldn't believe how unexciting and how terrifying that is for most people because they want to be on stage and they want to cure people and they want a big mission and they want to be here for a good reason and it's got to be exciting. And we've got to be doing something. We're going to be proactive. <laughs> Six months, I'm going to be doing this. How are you going to plan? I'm going to plan this. I got my dream board up and I got all these things that I'm going to manifest and create and I'm going to make it all happen. <laughs> Go for it. If that fulfills you and you feel happy, more fucking power to you. I have total respect for you. It's just not my path at the moment. It might be in, in time, but at the moment it's not. I'm just seeking to be at peace here. If I'm at peace in these moments, I can be at peace in any moment. Something else I'd like to say regarding women's is the menstrual cycle. It's a flow. You have to adapt to that cycle. You can't decide. I'm gonna. I'm gonna I've decided. I'm gonna get my period in three weeks. I, ca I can't do it in two weeks. I've got something on. You know. Next, I can't have my period tomorrow because I'm going out and I have to do this and that. It happens. Tough shit. You've got to adapt to it. You've got to be in the flow of life. So shadow work and whatever emotion is presented is its flow it may be presented and often is at the worst possible time that's your test can you be present in those moments when you're busy when you're up to your eyes when you don't have time when you're dealing with your screaming kid or you're stuck in traffic or your boss is an asshole those are the moments to get free and clear and to be present that's the diligence of being a king or a queen or a warrior and we often want to bypass that, we want to escape, and we want to be in the ashram or the yoga class. We want to be somewhere else, we want to be somewhere different, doing something different. We want it to happen on our clock. No, I decided I'll get free in three weeks time when I have the retreat. But today I'm just going to go to work and I'm going to eat my tub of ice cream and I'm going to do this, I'm going to smoke 60 cigarettes, I'm going to watch TV for nine hours. <laughs> the flow of life means working with what is presented rather than trying to superimpose what your ego wants your ego wants this type of day wants to tick all these boxes spin all these plates and then at the end of the day you'll feel an accomplishment your spirit has no interest in any of that in the flow of life different experiences may be presented to you different emotions unexpected now, if we can be in the flow, we can integrate them and allow them to pass through so quickly. 
the next one, the next one, the next one throughout that day, as opposed to battling and fighting with something for three days, finally getting past it, wrestling with something else for another week, finally getting past it, maybe, or maybe just fucking stuffing it under the carpet so we don't have to deal with it for another six months. That's the flow of life. Whatever's presented to you, you can work with rather than the ego trying to manage all these situations, all these things you want to do, things you want to achieve, the way you want your life to be. One more thing. When we tune in, this is just my experience. As I work with people, I see at times that people see, oh, I had a really good day, I've had a really good week. And to be kind of honest with you and brutal, I don't believe people. When, when I hear that, I would generally think that they're not as self-aware as they could be. Because when we tune in, the more conscious and presence, present we are with ourselves, we may realise that there's an underlying 1 out of 10 of anxiety. A little bit of restlessness. But us think positive spiritual bullshit artists, we have conditioned ourselves to kind of go, Oh, that doesn't really matter. I don't really mind about that. So basically what we're doing with that little 1 out of 10 of discomfort, we're going, I'm not going to pay attention to you. I'm just, I'm not going to honour this feeling that is being passed through by my spirit, by my higher self. I'll deal with that. It's not really important because I want to feel like this or I would like to have this experience. So now imagine doing that for 30 years or 40 years. All those little incremental unhappiness feeling disrespected, feeling ignored. Those little layers under the surface of just not being at peace. So all that stuff is under the surface, but we may have a good day. You may get things done and you may feel good. And it's that lack of awareness. All that shit's under the surface. And eventually that's why people have breakdowns or they arrive at addiction or they arrive at the broken marriage or the broken home or the broken whatever, the broken heart. All that accumulates. So where I'm going is to be aware of all those little bits. I want to integrate, embrace, witness, be at peace with all of me. Absolutely all of who I am. Everything that's presented. Not just the nice fluffy bullshit stuff. All of it. All the little ones. One out of ten. Not just a ten out of ten where I'm about to tear my hair out and I'm oh, riddled with anxiety. The little bits those little moments where I didn't speak up those little moments where I feel I'm not acknowledged maybe I'm not acknowledging myself maybe I'm not honoring that little bit of unhappiness that I don't know where it came from I don't know why it's there and it doesn't really matter but it's within me there's a piece of my heart that just doesn't feel like I'm present with it for those few moments I want to be there I want to be there in those moments more than I want to be anywhere else achieving any other thing ticking any box or spinning any place I want to be present with myself. I want to push that person away and say, not right now. Pause for a moment. Check in with me. And make peace with me. Honour myself. The child of myself. My own spirit. That's looking for attention. That's looking to be loved. That's actually just looking for presence. It's just looking for me to be present with who I am. And what's coming up. Anyway. Can you hear the birds? Maybe not. It's all good. We've designed our lives that whatever is presented to you right now, as uncomfortable as it may feel, as alien as it may look, it's exactly perfect for your energy. It's perfect to offer you a frequency to integrate. The confusion or the pain or the battle is just your ego because your ego can't read it and can't understand why these things are here or what to do with them by the way there is no why it's just to feel doesn't you don't need to understand or break it down or any of that kind of stuff figure it out just feel it thanks for listening i hope this was of use but you know what even if it wasn't i'm enough